Hello, uh, my name is Harald. Uh, I come from Norway and we are the Norwegian uh, importer of uh, Rivetto wines in uh, Norway. Uh, I brought with me a colleague and uh, two clients from a hotel Britannia in the, the city of Trondheim in uh, Norway uh, to learn more about uh, the Rivetto wines. Uh, Is this your first time here in Piemonte or in Arvest time? I have been here visiting uh, Rivetto before but uh, they haven't been to Piemonte, so it's their first uh, time to experience uh, Piemonte and Barolo. Okay, and uh, yesterday uh, you tested some wines. Can you tell which wines you tasted? First of all, we had, uh, of course, the Lagina uh, because when we came here we wanted some cool, uh, cold uh, drinks and uh, then we went for a Lagina Chetta as an aperitif, which was uh, very good. We had some Dolcetto, uh, Arcolino, uh, out on a, in the garden as well. And then we went to uh, dinner, very nice dinner yesterday, at a restaurant where we had uh, the Barbera Sionando, uh, together with the, especially the pasta dish. And it was just... It a, was Agnolotti, uh, the mm, Plin. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So it was a perfect match uh, together. And then uh, afterwards we had uh, some red meat and then we went over to the uh, Barolos. Okay. Uh, Sarilunga 2008 because uh, it was a little bit too early to mm -hmm. start drinking mm -hmm. that. Uh, so uh, among the Barolos uh, I think uh, the favorite was the, the uh, Leon Reserva 2006. That was starting to be very nice and gentle, uh, at least together with the food. Uh, we are in the vineyard of uh, Nebbiolo. Uh, the harvest started today. What are they doing? <laughs> From uh, what Enrico told uh, uh, yesterday and uh, this morning is that uh, they will cut off uh, a part of the Nebbiolo grape, just the lower part. Mm -hmm. that they will use uh, in uh, uh, sparkling. So uh, he wants to uh, do a new project with uh, sparkling that he has learned through the historic books of uh, winemaking from uh, Piemonte. So uh, more than 150 years ago they found out that uh, Nebbiolo uh, with the lower parts of the bunch had very nice acidity and uh, good uh, abilities for making uh, very nice uh, sparkling. Okay. So they will uh, catch up on that old tradition again. So it's going to be exciting. Da står vi här i vin vinmarkerna. Rivetto här har vi då bynt på nytt. Det är tagit upp en gammal historia från 150 år tillbaka med att ta tuppan av nu har man redan kutta här då tar bara tuppan av klasan för att lage sparkling wine eller bubblevin då muserande vin då som sagt inte provat för för gammalt då så det blir nytt nytt för i år då så det är lite spännande att vänta på det nya då har vi det stedet att hjälpa till ja så vi Gir velsignelsen til et nytt og bra prosjekt. Så blir vi invitert til å komme tilbake og smake. Ja, det må vi gjøre. Det må vi gjøre. Så skal vi si om to år så er det... Da er det reunion. Da er det reunion nede hos Rivetto, og vi skal smake Nebbiolo og Sparkly. Ja, ja.